All right, guys, so we are going to do a kind of day in the life at the automotive shop here. So I just got here to the shop. It's raining outside. Let's get inside and see what we have to work on today. kicked on in here since we just got in the shop it's nice and loud but <clears throat> to start we've got this chevy cruise right here where we have a uh valve cover that's leaking so show you guys here valve cover is leaking pretty bad got a new gasket kit here already so we're gonna go ahead and get this resealed we're also actually going to put some dye in this one just because we think there might be a couple other oil leaks that we want to look for. the valve cover off you can see here thank god that heater shut off that's the gasket in the rear of the valve cover you can see how badly cracked it was just wide open splits through that seal so this thing's been running for a while leaking so we're gonna get that changed out <laughs> So this Chevy Cruze, uh, we ended up having the wrong valve cover gasket out here. So uh, I got a new one ordered and it'll be out here within an hour. So until then, we're going to actually jump on to this Ford uh, Fusion, I believe it is. And it has a broken strut uh, on the driver's side in the front. So that's what I came in for. I'm going to lift the front end up here and shake it down and see if there's anything else wrong with it. And then get a strut assembly ordered for it. So real quick. You can see this is the passenger side, fairly normal. The driver's side, pretty, pretty low rider there. So we'll get this thing checked out. So if you've ever worked on Ford dealt with Ford lug nuts, you know the pain they are being this two-piece design. So this lug nut actually right there is uh, spinning off with a 20 millimeter socket on it. Uh, so we're gonna try to pound a nine, 19 over it and see if we can get that off. Otherwise we're gonna have to use a lug nut extractor set, but oh, the hassle of dumb two-piece lug nuts. Well, the front end of this got shaken down. There's nothing else too loose or anything that I see. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get this strut pulled out. You can see that spring broken and just dropped right down over the strut assembly. So we're gonna get that pulled out of here. We've got a new one on the way already and we'll get going at this. the right gasket so we're gonna go ahead and install this and get this valve cover thrown back on
right, so we just finished up the valve cover gasket on the Chevy Cruze. So that vehicle is good to go, got dye in it. We're gonna send this out, uh, bill it, and have the customer come pick it up. Uh, and so right now I'm gonna pull this out of the shop, swap it out for the Mazda that's coming in for a uh, uh, front end job. We got some struts and some tie rod ends, uh, maybe some uh, ball joints and stuff going on on that one. So we'll get these swapped out and um, before we start on that Mazda, we're gonna go ahead and finish up the strut on this. All right, we got our new strut here, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in here. We got this Mazda pulled in here. It's gonna be exciting to see how terrible this thing is. Tires on both sides are absolutely shot. So, be exciting to see what we got going on on that. I know there's a bunch of parts the customer brought in, so we'll be uh, looking into that next. Mazda in here and got it lifted up. Um, I got all these parts opened up. Looks like we're doing front struts, control on lower control arms, uh, sway bar links, inner and outer tie rods. We're gonna start ripping and tearing on this thing. <laughs> something that I didn't notice before see that control arm that control arm is bent and I can tell and you can tell obviously by the tire wear how bad that tire's worn that there's obviously been an issue um the other side is worn too so i wonder if they didn't hit something or go over a you know a jump or get some air or something on the front end and hit it really hard and kind of shove those tires back uh but anyway obviously that's been wearing the tires really badly and uh just pulling it in the shop here I noticed there was some weird feeling like just jerky unbalanced feeling um just turning into the shop here so obviously we're getting that fixed up for him but just noticed that it was pretty wild. Mazda partial to our part. I'm gonna keep going on it, uh, do the other side. Uh, same thing that you already have seen and this is the last job of the day. So we're gonna get this finished up and build out for the customer. And then I'm gonna head home. By then I'll have had a solid eight or 10 hour day. And this is what a pretty typical uh, Friday looks like for me here at the shop. Uh, if you guys like this content, you know, uh, let me know down in the comments section. Holy fuck.
fuck that truck is loud. Um, and then, you know, if, if you like how this was shot or you have any different ideas, you know, I did a lot of time lapse in this video. So go ahead, uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the video and the content. Um, also, if you would, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a like on this video. And also, I'm going to link my IG handle down below. I'll put it in the description, but it should be here at the bottom of the video as well. If you want to head over to IG and follow me there if you haven't already i post a ton in my stories of my day-to-day -day, what i'm doing here at this shop and at the caterpillar dealership so feel free to do that uh yeah i think that's everything i have for you guys take it easy